Yeah, I just thought I'd make uh, a brief video on how to overcome porn addiction because I haven't done one of these videos for a long time and I was doing a lot of um, videos on how to beat porn addiction throughout COVID and now I've been doing other videos. So I'll break it down into tips. One of the best ways in my experience to beat pornography addiction is to build discipline, confidence and, and applying goal setting and building this foundation through physical fitness, the gym or any exercise. I know when you say a gym, a lot of people think of weights and building muscle, but it doesn't have to be, mean that. Any form of fitness, long distance running, something where you physically exert energy and something that is difficult, but when you finish it, you feel great after. So it's something that makes you feel great after, which gives you that that thing that you're trying to chase when you're watching porn because obviously porn gives you some kind of excitement but it's very quickly then it leaves you feeling terrible where physical fitness doesn't you don't have regrets you don't have guilt and shame over that it's a it's a good wholesome thing so i built a lot of my mental toughness and discipline through training and like i said in my last video click the link up here somewhere which is how to not be a coward and build discipline in my coward series i explain that following up on what you say is a great way to build stronger self-esteem confidence and all these things equate to happiness i believe if you've got a strong porn addiction it's just a clear sign that there's unhappiness in your life right and i've been through it myself so it's not no not judging anyone just helping people out and everyone makes mistakes and i've been addicted to porn myself um throughout periods of my life and i've also overcome it so I find this to be so powerful and set goals, have a goal. Is it to lose weight? Is it to go gym a certain amount of times a week? Is it to get to a certain size? Is it to look a certain way? Is it just to be more fit and improve your mental health? Now, moving on to the next one, which is just as important for beating porn addiction, being more social. Now, I can, I can probably guarantee my last pound or dollar or euro, if you're very addicted to porn, you're probably introverted i'm actually an introvert nothing wrong with being introverted but you're probably pushing people away probably not socializing as much as you'd like to with family friends um associates colleagues the everyday public and part of addiction and porn it is part of that sometimes you don't feel like being around people and you push them away and that makes you more depressed more lonely more isolated and more dependent on watching porn because when you're watching porn you're, kind of, you're trying to get some kind of artificial connection love excitement feel good factor uh release and as we know it's a counterfeit as the italians would say it's a forgazy so when you socialize uh, with good people whether it's friends family or people that you connect with you build that connection it organically happens you don't have to manipulate it you know you can just be genuine and honest you're giving a lot to people just as much as they're giving you that's what friendship's about relating connecting the last time i checked that's why we're here I think that's one of the main reasons. It's not just to go on Instagram and see how many followers that you can get. I'm just looking at a bird that just flew up. That's crazy. That's nice. So build the discipline and the mental toughness in the gym. Go regularly. Enjoy it. That's really important. And work on being more social. Now, if you're already doing two of these things, I'd be quite surprised that you still got a porn addiction and, and if you have then it's a question of just persevering and like I said in my other videos it's it's not going to be straightforward overcoming a porn addiction it's not just like I quit tomorrow it doesn't usually work like that you know there's times where you beat it you might relapse again but you gotta not quit you gotta keep at it that's how I've done it now another one is I'm not presuming that you're single there's nothing wrong with being single but if you are single and you would like a relationship with a woman then you want to start you know being proactive in your dating life and that kind of goes hand in hand with socializing the more social you are and the more chance you've got of attracting a woman and having a real relationship then you don't have to have these artificial cyber relationships or you know when you're watching um uh, porn and, and and stuff like that so it's it's feel good factor so it all starts off with goal setting what what are your goals because I think a lot of men sometimes don't even think about this question. They forget goals are important. I set short-term goals, long-term goals, little daily goals, from the smallest goal to the biggest goal. Let me know what your goals are in the box below. The more goal-orientated you are, the more purpose, happiness and meaning you've got in your life. And the less likely you are to watch pornography. So 
be patient with yourself. I know it's easier said than done, but stop judging yourself. Start building discipline, cleaning your apartment, working on your grooming, working. There's so many things that us men can do to improve ourselves. And most of these things are within reach today. You can do them right now. And then you can, you know, face the bigger fears and achieve the bigger goals. So I don't want to make it sound dramatic and like it's so many things, because it's not really. It's just about exercising more regularly, socializing more, facing your fears and finding something in your life that you enjoy doing, whatever that is. So that's it. That's the best of what I've learned thus far with overcoming porn addiction and finding more happiness in your life. And like I said, remember, if you're not dating, to start dating, being more social, exercise regularly, socialize regularly, um, you know, improve your diet, your fashion, and your porn addiction, it will be easier to beat it. But if you're not doing these things, haven't got a foundation in place, then you're gonna be down, have a lot of anxiety, you're gonna be stressed, you're gonna be lonely, you're gonna be demotivated. So just take one day at a time, one hour at a time, keep listening to positive messages and you'll get there in the end. Like, share, let me know in the box below if there's anything that I said that helped you. And also let me know if you've got any success stories, if you've overcome porn or you've helped someone or maybe you've relapsed, it's an open, honest platform. And if you don't feel comfortable, then that's totally fine. You, you don't have to come forward, but hit the like button if you've got value from this and I hope it helps you to become fearless, all right? I'll speak to you soon.